Okay. Today, till now we have discussed about how to create a customer, how to create uh, material, contact person, partner determination, all other concepts. So like all these put together, we have only one common goal, how to create a sales order. Okay. So not only sales order, there are different kinds of documents will be there. Okay. Regarding the classification of understanding all these document level fields is called document architecture. Okay. Document architecture. Okay. Okay. Before getting into the documents, I'll tell you one sample example. Like uh, we have created one customer called Rob. Okay. So assume that he is a retailer. So he need, so when he want the stock, he will call to the company, either through mobile call or phone call, or else he will write an email, or else he come to the, uh, uh, like, you know, he will, he will inquire about either distributor or direct company, okay, anything. So call or email, sometimes they will do the, facts also so whatever the the, the whatever the mode of uh, like you know uh, mode of communication he is doing with the company that is a different way he is doing like when he do this that also will be saved in sap system for example i will tell you one best example you would like to buy a dell laptop okay so if you would like to buy a dell laptop or else some Lenovo laptop, okay? What will you do? So you will assume that you are going to some uh, uh, system street. In that street, you will find shops like X, Y, and G, A, B, C. I'm not giving the shop names. You, are, you went to all these shops. You anchor about like you want a laptop, a Dell or Lenovo laptop with best configuration, how you want it. One TB hard disk and uh, what do you want exactly like uh, i7, best configuration and uh, like some 8 GB RAM, okay? So for all these things, he went to the X shop. So he quoted a price like, you know, this is like 75,000, okay? So he went to another shop. So that means once you inquired, okay, he will give the quotation. So you will take the quotation for another 68,000. He gave one more quotation, same configuration. He went to the another shop. Okay. They will send either through email or phone call or else directly you're going to the shop and you're asking. They said 72,000 and same thing. Okay. You went all the shops. You came back to the home. You would like to buy laptop now. Okay. So now, before buying, you will have, you look at like, you know, not only price, you look at the quality. Okay. So this brand is here is available. Like Dell is available. Here Lenovo is available. Okay, the same thing available, different, different places. Okay, with uh, for Dell and Lenovo, like, you know, 10% differentiation is Dell is 10% cost. Okay, so you look out for all these specification, you look out for all, all alternatives. So, but if you say 75,000 immediately, you give and don't purchase. If you say 60,000, you don't give and purchase. You are gathering, you are inquiring. Okay, you are inquiring about this product and you are gathering the quotations. In the similar way, Raghu is the retailer is there. He would like to buy either biscuits or chocolates. He will inquire about the price and he will inquire about, for, if he is a first time customer to Dhruvan Foods Limited, he will inquire about, uh, like, you know, uh, what are all the benefits? Like, you know, 10% extra sometimes, Parley G 10% extra. You can see in retail shop, right? Like, you know, what is the current benefit is going? Okay. Being a retailer, you will look out for what is the margin you are giving. Like what is, whether stock is available for your brand or not. A lot many things you will inquire before taking the product from 
uh, your uh, outlet actually if you see all these are the different level of configuration different level of uh, your understandability okay so uh, if you would like to see if you would like to do like this okay if you would like to do like this finally suppose assume that this person is quoting the price high but he maintains the quality sometimes some shops they may give original product or not you don't have any reliability but uh, this is comes as a medium price but uh, you like it somehow like he is giving like a mouse and some other value adds he is giving once you fix this sales order will be created in the similar way first when you enquire if you configure the document is called enquiry enquiry means so whenever you enquire through phone fax or email in sap system so your requirement is, so this customer is enquired enquiry means like you know it's like this only if you enquire also it might not be converted into the sales order or quotation so next it will be converted into the quotation so q u o t a t i o n quotation so you have an enquiry and you have an a quotation so now you try to understand this enquiry and quotation enquiry level like you know if enquired you might choose you might not choose all shops you don't want to buy okay for one month then you stop you will take the all the quotations you may you may buy you may not buy so if you suppose 100 customers are coming to enquire about this product but only one customer is buying so that means company is not going to file a case against who is enquiring this product suppose if we went to any retail shop you would like to buy uh, like uh, jeans different brands will be available pepe jeans nike and different brands will be available okay so when you, when you, when you, when you would like to buy that one so you will just enquire about the product it doesn't mean that you are not going sometimes you will ask about the price what is the price sometimes you will take the quotation so in quotation uh, certain uh, like suppose if you are uh, buying a laptop you are taking quotation uh, when you are buying that time you will bargain what i am getting now so quotation price is not the actual price sometimes certain product but certain companies quotation price is the actual price okay if you see this one if you look at this one enquiry and quotation so these two your buying decision might be there might not be there okay let's take an example so buying decision might be there might not be there might be 100% or 50% or nil okay so your buying probability is nil sometimes okay like this you are when you enquire it doesn't mean that you are not going to buy okay so these two documents are called pre sales documents that means before converting into the sale you will enquire and you will take the quotation you will know about the product technicalities and as well as and as that price and all those things okay so once you wanted to buy this with x person okay so x is the company like if you if you correlate our example okay for our material okay what are the material i have created okay so that material uh assume that that material is like you can say m1 that material okay you would like to buy with 75000 you know the price i have seen you in, i have shown you in sales order this is the uh, sales price this is the material you are going to buy for this material you have a price and who is the buyer if you take ragu is the sold to to whom they he would like to receive he is receiving the product who actually you know taking the bill he is taking the bill who actually payer he is the payer of this amount if you take this example same example if you take okay so don't take this this for understanding i told let's wipe out this we'll just take out in our example i told our biscuits is 20 mm, euros okay so the brand biscuits is 20 euros certain a case like it will be converted into the sales order 
so this guy is created a sales order okay sometimes sales order this these two are not legal agreements sometimes it might be legal agreement if your customer is looking for it but sales order is the actual legal agreement suppose initially he agreed the price 20 euros okay dhruvan company dhruvan company so for this product in 20 euros so so let's put this one so you ordered the m1 as like 1000 quantity okay 1000 what is that 1000 pack so 1000 so the material one is 20 euros one pack it contains oh, 10 10 pieces okay 10 each 10 into 1000 that means 10000 uh, what i would say units he ordered actually see conversion yesterday i have shown you in metal master so 10000 units each unit price is 20 20 into 10000 how much okay let's put it 1 2 3 4 4 that means this is the total price let's take an example initially agreed 20 but uh, Dhruvan company assume that they it's it's not going to deceive but they deceived that you know price later changed it to 25 2 lakh 50 thousand so Raghu need to approach the court so that's why what is the proof for him sales order is not proof enquiry and number of people will be enquiring it's not the proof but sales order is the legal agreement that's why we'll call it as sales order as a legal agreement so then you have delivery okay of thousand pack quantity okay so then you have billing okay billing of thousand pack okay so all these documents are called falls under to understanding this documents definition is called document architecture okay what is the process in general first to enquire okay about thousand pieces then you create a quotation about 1000 pieces then you create a sales order confirmation order confirmation 1000 pieces then what we will do delivery delivery means delivery document will be created when stock is moving out from your system from your inventory that is called pga right this is the new term now you are listening that i will explain don't worry about that okay post goods issue means thousand you are creating delivery if you create delivery doesn't mean that i am not sending my vehicle to my customer i am not delivering the stock to my customer when i say this pga stock is moved out from my system okay then what you will do you will do the billing for this customer how much you are going to do thousand pieces this you will write the bill for your customer this is how you have to understand the complete cycle okay sales order cycle before that actually since ragu is a buyer for this company okay so he will raise purchase order purchase order that purchase order he will raise for these quantities and these units and this person so this will be converted into directly sometimes into sales order sometimes it depends on the scenario most of the times it will be created so most of the companies will start their process if any buying request is there they will start from here they don't look out for these two so but your customer is requiring these two also okay then this complete cycle is called your sales order cycle okay so these from here to here if the customer is running okay so then this orange mark is called otc they will call a process you try to remember these terms order to cash okay suppose your customer is looking from here to here okay without enquiry it's okay like uh, certain companies is looking for this process sales order level see configuration is simple if you understand the concept so this is called quotation quotation to cash cycle so most of the times worldwide companies are using these two processes only okay 
so i don't want to confuse you at this level we try to understand this process later we'll try to understand different things okay so now when you are getting an order sales order okay uh, like a ragu so he is ordering so his details will be saved at sales order header okay header means this what do you call document like for enquiry i and told right for quotation qt for order it is or all these are the header details document type level details at, that means top level it will be called it as a sales order header okay so order so delivery called lf they will call it as you will remember once you get a practice and billing is f2 all these are the scp level document f this you can change according to your requirements i can create it as i can copy qt as qtc or as zor lf as zlf like you know depends on the requirement we created that concept is called copy control that we are going to see later it has a long way to go but you try to understand what is this document architecture so these two will be called so like let me put this this two will be called pre sales documents okay all these will be called what do you call pre opposite post sales documents okay this is how you have to understand okay so at a document level if any details it is showing uh, storing that is called sales document header doc header so sab has given this name like when you are entering uh, what i would say when you are entering uh, you were sold to party shipped to party this these details so when you call them when you call them at document level you will call it as sales document header so when you call sales doc sales item sale document item okay item so item means like suppose you entered one item 10 like m1 material with 1000 quantity okay so you are entering another material that is m2 that is called 2000 quantity suppose you are entering entering another material 5000 so this is called item number generation okay that we are going to see at item level these are the quantities you are looking for when it need, need to be deliver this is tomorrow this is day after tomorrow or else this is also tomorrow like some dates will be there what is the quantity your quantities and your materials and your material relevant at, uh, attributes and your item is always relevant for your sales item level details so sales item level details you will call it as sales item okay sales document header sales document item okay within the item also you have one more section called which is talks about your delivery dates delivery dates that means when the delivery date suppose if you created they are not going to confirm the quantity stock is not available coming 5 days so then so the date will be given like somewhere else today is assume that 23 february so if i give it for future then deliveries will be given to the future right delivery date will be given future some march 5th or something like that so quantities how much quantities suppose this 1000 quantity is there so i will commit to only 500 quantity today and 200 quantity after one week and 100 quantity one week after that 100 quantity one week that means it's like a partial delivery 5 plus 200 700 800 900 still 100 stock need to be delivered so when full stock is delivered your delivery will be completed that is a different story you try to understand this remember this head means the top item means your material level details 
so your delivery dates there is something called confirmed quantities that your delivery dates and confirmed quantities will be delay derived at item level only but this you will call it as schedule lines schedule means you are making schedule okay schedule means your calendar schedule line okay we will call it as see this is a technical terminology nothing else like you know when when your customer you are identified to whom you need to deliver whatever the details relevant what is his payment terms so when what to whom we need to send the billing document those details are at header level same as whereas so header level you know it but which item i am sending how much quantity i am sending when i am delivering all these related to your item level <coughs> this is called sales document item so this is called schedule lines this is part of your item only so now you understand right from today onwards we are going to understand what are all these sales documents all put together we'll call it as sales document architecture now if you have any doubts you can ask for it